This morning in family time, it is time to pull out all the streamers and the balloons. How to plan a fun and memorable birthday party for your kids. Mom blogger Audrey McClellan is here with her suggestions. Audrey, when I was a kid, we would have a birthday party in my garage. Done. That was it. That was it. Actually, I know. We had a lot in our backyard, but times have changed. Oh, boy, and have they have ever. You have to amp it up. Yes, you do. You yeah, really you do. do. You do. So what are some, some of the suggestions? So I wanted to kind of think of um, boys, girls, different ages, mm -hmm. and what would really be also reasonable for parents. Right. Because parents don't want to spend thousands of dollars oh. on a birthday party. Right. But the first one is Riddle Room. And this is in East Greenwich. Have you ever been to this? It's like an escape room. Okay. I've been myself once, um, but I feel like this is probably more for like teenagers, but kids still like to get together and do things, so I thought a riddle room would be really fun, and right. the price point, which I was so happy, was $29 a person, okay. and that is like literally an hour and a half of fun. Right. Um, there's different price points, so it starts there, but I thought that'd be a good idea, too, That's if you're one. looking for something a little bit sure. different. Sure, sure. Um, another one, if you have We've, little... I've done this one. What one? P this petite chef. P petite chef? Yes. I mean, for budding chefs, I feel like this is such a great idea. You can go, you get into the baking, you actually cook together. The the woman who runs, who was there all the time, who runs the place, could not have been nicer oh, with oh, all the kids. Yeah, could not have been nicer with all the kids. I was doing a lot of research kids. for this, yes, and, I, yes. and I wasn't sure. That and, was a good one. And it's about three hundred dollars. It yep. starts at up to twelve kids. Right. So I feel like that's a great that one a to do. One. Uh, another one, battlegrounds. You ever been to battlegrounds? No, I don't think so. I haven't that either. Sounds, it sounds fun. So this, my sons told me this this morning. Okay. Which, it like worries me a little bit how excited they got. Paintball, right? Uh, dodgeball, sounds laser good. tag, airsoft, archery tag, and around two hundred fifty dollars to start. And that's in Lincoln. So okay. I thought that'd be great. I know my son is going to be thirteen soon. He's going to want to do something fun. I right. thought that's a great idea. That's a good one. Um, the Audubon Society of Rhode Island. I know that you guys have a lot of the times them here. Yeah, we we did a story with them a couple of years ago, yep. and I had never been. And it, it's beautiful, and it's a great it's a great place. It really is great. Yeah. You know, they have one in Bristol, uh, Seekonk, right. Exeter, and also they have it in Smithfield. Mm -hmm. So learn about like wildlife, nature. I know that my daughter would love something like this. It really was. It was it was very peaceful and kind of relaxing, but they had a lot of cool things there too. Absolutely. Yeah. And then I was trying to think, you know, something really just relaxing and pampering. So mm -hmm. a spa. So I tried to find some place around here that would do like a sweet 16. So Citron in Providence, they do spa birthday parties. Oh, sounds nice. So up to, you know, 10 girls. Right. You know, so whatever you want to do, you go there, you relax, you get your, your nails. Your, your toes done. And then one thing too, which I feel like, you know, are great standbys, but local YMCA had there. I know at the Bayside Y, I've done a birth. I actually had my birthday party there I years ago. I think we ago. did one of those too. Right? Yep. Uh, you know, swimming, you go in the gym. Right. Also to Providence Children's Museum, which is great. I've been to a lot of birthday parties sure. there as well. And then the last one too, which I feel like you can't go wrong, the, the trampoline parks. Yep. So you got Fun City, you have uh, Launch in Warwick. Right, which so, is down there too. Yeah, and we actually have had um, two birthday parties there. Well, I think for a lot of people, no, it just makes life a little easier for you as yes. well. So you can have a party at one of these locations. They you pay, obviously you're paying for them to be there, but they take care of everything. You don't have to worry about cleaning up, picking up, absolutely uh, everything else that goes along with it. And that is the thing. I mean, my parents used to throw birthday parties at home for us. Right. And you do in the back of your head think I'm saving so much money, but you know, in reality, sometimes when you do like the food and you buy activities and the it goodie becomes bags, expensive. right, and the balloons and decorations and the cake, it does add up. Right. So you know, to see that you could start around like two hundred fifty dollars and have a group of kids and right. have everything taken care of. I mean, as yeah. a mom of five, sign oh, me up look, every day of the week. It, it, whatever makes life easier. You yes. get to a point, right? Yeah, because you remember the rolling, the roller rink in Seekonk when I was a kid. I yes. feel like it's like so, uh, if something yes. skates or Star something. Wheels. Star, Star Wheels. Star Wheels. That was it. Wait, Star I, Wheels. Yes. That's where I went like every year. Major, I never USA? Old. Yes. USA. USA. Yes. So there you go. Done build a bear. IMAX. So we've never done Build a Bear. That's oh, a good one. Oh, let me tell you. I got That's a whole a list. That's a good one. <laughs> I got a whole list and receipts to prove it. Um, if you would like to review this info, you can head on over to roadshow.com.